Hey guys, it's that epic Wi-Fi guy. In the last episode of Tomon Ordinary Version, we finished off our team, capturing Luigi and Olivia. Now, um, I did some off-screen training, as, and as you can see, I got Muriel to level 30, and I got Luigi to level 27, and now she's all caught up. And she's been fairly decent, but as you can see, she hasn't evolved quite yet. Will she be evolving soon? The answer is yes. But anyway, um, so now that we've finished our business in the Hogany Town, I just want to continue on to Goldenrod City. Not Goldenrod City, we just left there a while ago. Um, Olivine City, yes, that's right. And here we have a trainer battle. Fly high into the sky, my beloved bird to home on. Let's see what this guy has for us, a bird keeper. So, um, Sonic can actually learn some pretty good TM moves, too, when you get her. Like, I taught her Ice Punch, and I also taught her Surf, which is, of course, the HM move, but, yeah. And she also learned Razor Leaf by level up. You got Luigi Nated. It's not the same. Anywho, Luigi gets a level up. Very nice. Alright, Mistia. Mistia, you belong in this hack. You're not as bad as Tokiko. You're actually quite useful for your support moves. So I can respect that. Get Bulsonated! I wonder if Flounder learns Crunch, actually. I mean, obviously. Oh, here's a new one. Now, uh, remember back in that uh, I don't remember which part it was, but remember when I was talking about how there was a fire type that basically trumped all the rest? Well, this is it right here. This is Chibi Utsuho. She is a flying fire type, and when I say she is strong, she is strong. She has a base 160 special attack in her final evolution. Oh, uh, hey, and Luigi is evolving. So, right, more about Utsuho. She is, uh, yes, fire flying type. Her final evolution comes late, but when she does evolve... She has an extremely powerful 160 base special attack, and before that her second stage is even good, because her second stage has base 130 special attack, so she's still good by the meantime. More berries. Alright, so um, there's actually one thing that I forgot to mention in Goldenrod, but you can actually go there and they sell Waterstone, Thunderstone, that kind of thing in the department store, which is really nice. And it just so happens that I have two guys that evolve with uh, use of an elemental stone, which are Luigi and Olivia. Now, I won't be evolving Olivia for a while because she can learn some good moves by level up. And I won't evolve Luigi for now, even though she doesn't really learn any more notable moves, and I can just evolve her straight away. I don't think I'll do that quite yet, just for the, just for the fact that everyone is not evolved yet. And now we will get Bulsa and Nathar out front. You have anything for us? Hi, aren't you a cute trainer? May I see your Tahoman? No, you may not. Or else you will get bullsonated. Beauty Valerie. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm not sure if we've actually encountered Yuka in a battle. Oh yes, we have, but um... I never really talked about her, but she's a grass dark type and she's fairly decent. She has a very high special attack, good HP, but she's also really slow, and I guess that's kind of the trade-off. Very nice. Beauty Valerie's have to use Yuko. I see you're a Grass-type trainer, huh? Bam. Oh yeah, that's right, Yuko isn't Grass-type. It's isn't Grass-type until it's evolution. Thou didst one damage. Thou art... Thou art Dreamcast. That's that's actually something that's kind of funny about you, Yuko. It's that some people liken her symbol to the Dreamcast symbol. And I've actually seen a really cool picture. What? Busanator is evolving? Busanator, Busanator, Busanator. And I don't recall whose cry that is, but Busanator evolved into Flander. Alright, so yes, yeah, so let's take a look at Flunder here. Now, um, Flunder actually evolves at night by happiness. And basically what I did off screen was, while I was training her, I just kind of biked back and forth for a while until I got her happiness up. And as you can see, she has very high offensive stats. So yeah, really nice. Tomorrow. 
Chen. Now let's see Flounder's back sprite. It's probably pretty good. Huh, it's not bad. We can see both of her wings this time. <gasps> Ugh, hiccups. We can see both of her wings this time. You. Let me try something I learned today. <coughs> Thou art school kid. Oh, it's a Pancholi. It's a Mukyu! Wilson, they did. Alright, very nice. Schoolboy Chad was defeated. I didn't study enough, I guess. Well, how are you gonna get battle experience if you don't battle? Studying ain't gonna get you anywhere if you don't battle. And I did not mean to battle you. Let me see what your Tomon are capable of. Those Pokeballs in that sprite look pretty cool, though. Oh, hey, here's a new one. Um, Shikieki. She is actually the, I guess, the commander of Komachi, the Shinigami. Shigeki is the Yama, which is basically a figure in many, um... Many Asian cultures have this figure that it's kind of like a judge, and it judges the dead, which is pretty cool. And here we have Ron, the evolved form of one of the starters. Like I said, Ron is really good. I definitely recommend her. And honestly, I would probably recommend Ron because you can get the other two starters earlier than you can get Ron from the wilds. And Marissa is kind of rare. I'm not sure what her encounter rate is, but she seemed like she'd be rare. Alright, here we go. It's for chain. This is a mint berry. Mint. Now, how mint is supposed to wake you up of all things, I don't know. Then again, how does a Pokemon eat a berry when, like, it's frozen or if it's sleeping? My Sunny ain't giving flavor no more. I hear cows produce good milk, but Sun is magic flavors it. She can be lots of flavor if I feed it lots of berries, I reckon. Huh, is that so? <coughs> Excuse me. Now here's the Sunny milk. Oddly enough, it's colored green. Berry. It's crazy weak. Give a berry to Sunny. Now, um, Sunny Milk will only take regular berries, but I believe it's like five that it takes. Or something like that. I think I have like six berries, so it should be enough. Now, how a doll produces Oh, never mind. The doll doesn't produce the milk. Apparently, it's the magic that flavors it. Well, that's a pretty good justification, honestly. Huh, I give props to the creator. Berry, it's crazy weak of a berry, yes. And I also really like that the, um, the creator of this hack refrained from having everything in all capitals. Because that's been a pet peeve of myself up until black and white, and I'm glad they fixed that in black and white. Because, like, whenever you set up a Pokemon, it's like, you're yelling their name, and it's Pokemon! And here we can buy Sunny's Milk. Moo Moo Milk. Very nice deal. Now, Moo Milk is a very nice deal. It heals, I believe, 100 HP, and it's only 500 Poke Dollars. Now, the only downside is that you can only buy one at a time, so it takes a while to buy them. But other than that, I guess if you can stock up, then feel free to do so. But I prefer to just buy Hyper Potions. Wouldn't you mind if I brag about my Tomon? Yes, I would very much. In fact, I will probably Bulsanate you. Cyrano! Nine! Nine ball! And of course, he actually has a Cyrano. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't I don't know if Cyrano is part water yet. No, it's not. But in the final stage, Cyrano is part water, so it makes a pretty good water type. Because there's not too many water types in this game. I couldn't be getting the brag. Of course, you're not the strongest. Such a darling Tomon. Let's show our Tomon together at the same time. Okay, if you say so, prepare to get bullsonated. Tofan Ruth. Oh, you have a sauna. That's pretty cool, I guess. So, um, I actually decided to start a playthrough of Pokemon XD recently. For reasons that my favorite LP is doing a Let's Play of Pokemon Coliseum, it kind of made me want to play XD again. XD because he's doing Colosseum, so I didn't really feel like playing a lot of Colosseum, but with XD. But for various reasons. I decided to go with Fate Porygon this time, even though I got a nature that would have been good for Flareon, because I used Flareon last time. And honestly, Flareon isn't really as bad as people make it out to be sometimes, because... Oh, hey, here's a new Tomon, I think, Mera. 
Mera is kind of like, uh, what's it called? What's it called? It's kind of like, uh, not Sakia, but Yumeko. Your basic steel type, basically. Again, I would recommend Yomu over Mera, just because Yomu has the ghost type, which makes it not weak against fighting. Thrash, hmm. I don't think we'll learn for. I don't think we'll learn Thrash. I don't think I will. Yeah, I just don't feel like learning Thrash. Trainer. As back as I was saying, um, there's actually I don't know if you've heard about it, but on the Japanese Pokemon Global Link website, there's a special turn set of tournament rules called Eevee Cup. And it's actually pretty interesting, and I thought it was interesting enough that I went ahead and made myself an Eevee Cup team. Basically the rules is that, um, it's flat battle, and basically you do 4 on 4, with, it's a rotation battle. You bring 4 party members, you get to select 4 out of 6. And basically you can use every member of the evolution evolutionary family. And Flareon is actually very good when it's only pitted against the other evolutions. Mostly because it's one of the strong it's the strongest physical attacker and it has super power to take care of Flareon. I mean not Flareon, Umbreon. So thanks to its high physical strength, it's capable of one hit KOing every evolution. If you predict correctly. So yeah. Flareon just got a whole lot more terrifying, didn't it? But yeah, I think Florian at least deserves to learn Blaze Kick. If things like Lucario can learn Blaze Kick. Because he'd like kill himself if he's Blaze Kick, you know? It's kind of weird. And I can see Florian kicking. Uh, I mean, I can imagine Florian kicking. I mean, I can see it. Yeesh, I'm just repeating what I'm saying. That's not cool. Okay. Do, 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 do. Who is this? Oh, it's our rival. Da -da -dots. You again. There's no need to panic. I don't bother with wimps like you. Speaking of weaklings, the city's gym leader isn't here. Supposedly taking care of a sick Tohomod at the lighthouse. <laughs> Boo! -hoo. Just let the sick Tohomod go. A Tohomod that can't battle is worthless. Why don't you go train at the lighthouse? Who knows? It may make you a bit less weak. Well, excuse me! And actually, I have a good question about that. How exactly does a puppet get sick anyway? I mean... It's a puppet. Are there like special puppet germs for your puppets? Alright, what do you have for us? Ha! I'm looking for this tome on. If you have C Lyrica, would you trade it for my C Kotohime? Eh, I guess this isn't really a good trade, because Kotohime isn't that good in my opinion. It's kind of like a generic normal type. And like I said, the normal types in this game aren't very good, unfortunately. Like, the only one I'd probably recommend is Koishi. And you can actually find Koishi west of Goldenrod City if you wanted one. Not Goldenrod City, Ekritik City. Sheesh, keep forgetting the name. But yeah, Koishi makes a pretty good special attacker. You can just teach her all of the ele elemental punches right off the bat, and she'll have really good coverage. What do you have for us? Hello, laddie. The sea is sing with me. Yo-ho, blow the man down. Alright, let's see if these... Let's see if this beach has anything for us. This rock looks breakable. Want to use rock smash? Yes. The rock got bulsinated. Oh, hey, wild encounter. Hey, Chibi Tenchi. I was wondering where Tenchi was in this game. But, yeah, basically, I talked a little bit about Tenchi earlier. She is a rock ground type. She's fairly decent as a rock ground type because most of the time, rock ground types lack special defense. She has fairly good special defense. And George Washington, apparently. But, yeah, if I knew about Tenchi, I would have possibly considered using her on my team, but it's kind of too late for that now. <coughs> and she is kind of underleveled for this point of the game. Especially considered this hack has higher levels for the gym leaders. Like, I forgot just how low leveled the gym leaders in, um, the gym leaders in the original Gold, Silver, Crystal were, because, like, pr I saw a video of Price and he was, like, level 27. I don't remember him being that low. Well, that was in the remakes. I guess they were a bit lower than I remembered. Alright, there we go. We're gonna catch you, Tenji. Now, um, Tenchi is a Celestial. And for the most part, Yokai despise Celestials. And, uh... Well, really, that's about all I know for her. She's from the game Scarlet Weather Rhapsody, just like Iku. And, oh yeah, I didn't talk about Iku either. Now, Iku watches over Tenchi... 
And she basically... That's all I really know about her. That and the fact that Iku's power is the ability to read the atmosphere. Which Fanon often jokes by saying, using the meaning, read the atmosphere as in... Like, read the atmosphere of the situation rather than read the clouds. But... Yeah, Tenchi is an oarfish yokai, and oarfish are really cool fish. They're basically like huge fish, really long. Are you gonna get caught, Tenchi? But yeah, I'm actually using a Tenchi in my playthrough of World League. I guess I might show off my team in that game sometime. Because it's a pretty interesting game. Three? What? Really? Get caught, Tenchi. You are holding a keystone, and I want you. I'm having more trouble catching Tenchi than I did Iku. There we go. That was so funny last episode, just... Oh, gotta use a revive. Oop, nope. Why did I throw an orb? Oh, hey, caught it. <laughs> okay, whatever. That was an awful impersonation of myself, if I may say. But anyway, guys, now that we've reached Olivine, I'd say that this is a good place to end off this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you when I post more videos.